welcome back to my channel so thank you for being here I am preparing my lunch which is this fresh sea bass fillet it's a butterfly fillet um, I've, I picked this up in Aldi's the other day and I've never seen a butterfly uh, sea bass fillet and normally I when I get them they're just two separate ones but this is actually this is joined so um, it'll be interesting I'm sure it'll be delicious so I'm just going to season it up um, so let me just wash my hands seeing as I've just touched it so um, uh, to season my uh, fish I am using a little pinch of sea salt flakes and I'm literally it's just sprinkling on a little pinch of it then I'm using some whole corn black pepper which I'm gonna just put on quite liberally and then I'm using a little bit of chili powder because I do like my food quite spicy just a little bit there and normally I would use a little pinch of paprika but I've run out of that so um, that's what I've got today and all I'm going to do is just press that seasoning in just press it into the flesh of the fish and then just get all this up off the side as well and press it in and now I'm going to cook it down so my pan is hot on the gas and I'm just going to use half a teaspoon of this coconut oil to fry my sea bass in. I do like um, to use coconut oil and sometimes, depends what I'm doing, I do prefer it over the spray oil. So I'm using that amount and I'm just dropping it into my hot pan. I'm going to turn this gas down a little bit. There. Just let it, I'll just put the spoon on just to melt any of the excess oil on there. So I just swill it around. So I'm just swilling that oil around in the pan. I've turned the heat down. And now I'm just going to drop my fillets in. I'm going to do the skin side first. So I'm doing the skin side first because um, I like that really nice and crispy. So that's been cooking now for a couple of minutes at a medium heat and I'm just going to check that and it looks lovely and crispy on the underside. So I'm going to just flip it over now. And let that cook through for a couple of minutes. I'm going to serve this with a warm salad. So I've chopped up some cherry tomatoes and some cucumbers. And whilst the fish is cooking, I'm just going to slide these in so that they can warm through. And the lovely thing of putting these in here is that everything's going to be ready all at the same time it's all going to be nice and warm plus um, the cucumbers and the cherry tomatoes are going to pick up on some of that lovely seasoning that I put on the fish it's going to pick up those flavors um, sometimes I will add just a little bit of extra bit of seasoning at this stage which I'm going to do right now so I'm going to just add in a little bit of black pepper and also just a little bit of chilli on those just a tiny bit I'm just going to give it all a stir When I cook um, hot food, 
like hot fish hot chicken i usually do um a hot salad to go with it um because um i do like to have the warm food with the warm salad um so i will often do that sometimes i will have spinach as well and when i've taken the fish out i will just stir in some spinach at this point but i've got no spinach today so i'm just going to check on the fish just to make sure it's done before i take it out and yeah that looks perfectly done so i'm going to serve this up right now i'm just going to have this salad with um some leaves let's pop a few leaves down And now I can put my fish down and just give the cucumbers and the tomatoes a last stir in the pan before serving that. So guys, that's it. This is my lunch so thank you for being here and watching please leave me a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think how do you cook your fish so please like this video if you found it interesting and please subscribe click that red subscribe button and the bell and i will see you on another video